you want to get me? Yes. Ready to my son, my baby boy. Good. Three thousand volts, and then come fire underground cable around those cables into rough place. It's 22,000 is uh, relatively low voltage for sub transmission, but yep. the time that it was built, that was the highest reliable voltage code. The site itself here is a pretty historic site. It's been in the electrical industry since 1882, uh, when an Australian electrical company had a small workshop and later a power station on the site here. And that's contemporary with uh, London, where they started distributing electricity in 1982. New York, Pearl Street, Edison train, that worked there in 1982. And the same year, at the end of the year, 1982, Russell Place was distributing electricity. And that became a problem because transformers won't work on DC. And uh, it's very difficult to change the voltage or correct the voltage on DC. So, just before the end of the 18th century, they sent people overseas to uh, have a look what they were doing overseas, and they come back with the news, sorry, we've gone the wrong way, it should be uh, AC supply, where they can monitor the voltage. It's a bit like the railways and their standard gauges, they couldn't get it right to start with. So, uh, about that time also, there was a, uh, there was a, Parliament Act that enabled uh, any council with a due restriction to take over and manage and regulate the electricity supply. Uh, Melbourne City Council formed the Melbourne Electricity Supply and that made up all the small generating companies. Uh, once they had this network going, there was most of Melbourne was DC customers. Uh, they had to build a new AC network to run in parallel with this. All new buildings and customers were changed over and put straight onto the AC. The existing customers were going to be a quick change over onto the AC and uh, then disbanded the DC system. Unfortunately, the DC system took 103 years to get rid of the last customer. Not that before it could be shut down. So in 2003, the only difference in principle, it's a slightly smaller switch, but it's a straight out manual. The ones down the bottom have got a big operating coil to allow them to be remote operated. This has still got the DC panels in. Uh, we have a mid-wire or earth position and we have 230 volt negative and 230 volt positive. A customer would typically on a house would have a supply from earth to positive or negative, it doesn't matter which, that would give them 230 volt for their lighting and power. Uh, a commercial customer with lifts and that would run off 460 and he would be connected between the positive and negative, giving 460 volts. The fuses in that time were straight out. They were a wooden handle, brass fittings, and a bit of soft copper stripping. Let's see, that's the typical elements. Now, the elements there, they vary in current ratings. These are 400 amp. Uh, if we had a 200 amp, they'd have bigger holes in the middle, reducing the amount of metal and making that allow them to blow it off at a lower um, current rating.